I read uh, I read that there was a seven sigma standard deviation, which is approximately one out of thirty five trillion chance that magic and psi phenomenon based on the data isn't real. Is that about the gazillion number that you were you were thinking? No, it's beyond that. It's, it's, it's beyond much that. larger than that, yeah. <laughs> I was I underestimating. Mean, well, like one example is the uh, the evidence for telepathy for one particular class of telepathy studies is sixtillion to one. It's I don't even know what that number is. <laughs> I had to look it up because I, I wasn't quite sure either, but it's <laughs> it's a three with something like 20 zeros after it. So wow. it, it, it's a, yeah, it, but what I like to say then is that what we're dealing with is a level of confidence. So do we have confidence that this is a real thing? That's quite different than how big is the thing. Mm. So what often happens is people conflate the idea of existence with efficacy. Mm -hmm. And they're not the same thing. So right. we know we have high confidence that there are small effects. These psi effects are real. Magic is real. What we usually see in a laboratory context is pretty small. But we have high confidence that it's real. If you're looking at a normal statistical probability graph, and you'll see most things follow a, follow a general line of moderate effects, and then you'll see outlier effects, though. 